Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. In today's episode, we are going to talk about one of the most fascinating books I've ever read, A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. This book takes you on a journey through the history of science, exploring how we as humans have come to understand the world around us. It's a book that covers everything from the Big Bang to the present day and makes the seemingly complex and abstract ideas of science accessible to anyone with a curious mind. Now, you might be thinking, how can one book possibly cover the history of nearly everything? Well, that's the beauty of it. Bill Bryson uses metaphors and analogies to make the concepts easy to understand and entertaining to read. He takes you on a journey through time, visiting the most important moments in scientific history and introducing you to the brilliant minds that made the discoveries that changed the world. One of the things I love about this book is the way it makes science come alive. Bryson introduces us to the idea of the geologic timescale. He explains how scientists have pieced together a timeline by studying the rocks and fossils that have been left behind. Bryson explains the theory of evolution. He takes us on a journey through time, starting with the first single-celled organisms and ending with the complex creatures that roam the Earth today. He explains how natural selection, adaptation, and genetic mutations have shaped the world as we know it. He also touches on the ongoing debate between creationism and evolution and how science has been able to provide evidence to support the theory of evolution. Bryson explains the Big Bang Theory and how scientists were able to develop this understanding of the origin of the universe. He also discusses how the universe is still expanding and how dark matter and dark energy play a role in this expansion. He explains how the Earth's continents were formed and how they have shifted over time due to plate tectonics. He discusses the evolution of life on Earth, from single-celled organisms to complex species like humans. Bryson explains how scientists were able to understand the composition of matter and the role that atoms play in chemical reactions. He discusses the different types of matter and how they interact with each other. He talks about electromagnetic spectrum and the different types of waves that make up this spectrum, including visible light, radio waves, and x-rays. In Chapter 8, Bryson covers the science of heat and temperature. He explains how heat is transferred from one object to another and how temperature is related to heat. He also discusses the different states of matter and how they are affected by temperature and pressure. Bryson also explains how Darwin's ideas about natural selection and adaptation were influenced by the work of other scientists and how these ideas have been refined and expanded upon in the centuries since Darwin. So why should you read a short history of nearly everything? Well, there are many reasons, but here are just a few. Number one, accessibility. One of the greatest strengths of this book is that it makes complex scientific concepts accessible to anyone. Bryson uses clear, simple language and engaging analogies to explain even the most abstract ideas. Whether you have a background in science or not, you'll find this book to be a fun and informative. Number two, entertaining. Bryson's writing style is lively and engaging, and he peppers the book with humor and anecdotes to keep you interested. You'll find yourself laughing out loud and learning something new all at the same time. Number three, inspiring. A short history of nearly everything is a book that will inspire you. Bryson highlights the brilliant minds that have made the discoveries that have changed the world, and he shows how their curiosity and determination have led to a greater understanding of the world around us. Whether you're a scientist or just someone who loves to learn, this book is sure to inspire you to explore and discover. So, if you're looking for a book that's entertaining, educational, and inspiring, look no further than A Short History of Nearly Everything. Whether you're a science buff or just looking to learn something new, this book is sure to captivate you from beginning to end. That's all for today's show. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Make sure to tune in next week when we discuss another book. Don't forget to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.